Hello everybody! In today's video I will show you how you can create a simple REST API in SAP. To do this we use the transaction SE24 to create two new classes that inherit from the CLREST HTTP handler and CLREST resource classes. We redefine two methods of these newly created classes and write some code. So first let's create a new class set C L hello world rest. Here we type a short description test rest API. Then we click on inherit inheritance button and here we type in this superclass called CL rest HTTP handler. This is the basic handler class for ABAP REST applications. That means every REST application must derive its handler class from this class. And yes, here we need a, a test package. And yeah, train spot request. So, and here we redefine the, uh, the, the if REST application declares the get root handler method which must be implemented by every ABAP REST application. So redefine this and we activate this uh, method, redefined method and later we write some code here. So now get now we uh, get back, we call the SE24 transaction again and we create a new class set cl hello world rest underscore resource then we click on the button create again a short description test hello world rest click on the button inheritance and the superclass now is cl rest hd uh, cl rest resource yes with only one s in resource and this class is the base class for all rest resources click on save yes again in my object in my local package and uh, the interface if rest resource defines the methods get post put delete head and options and in our example we redefine the get method here so each rest application resource class inherits from this class and overrides its methods so activate this uh, redefined methods and we go back to the set seal hello world rest class click on change double click on the get root handler redefined method and here we type some code first we uh, declare a local object with data um, lo router is new cl rest router and the cl rest router this class is used to resolve rest resource handler classes from the uri uniform resource identifier used during rest request processing the handler class is assigned to the uri template by calling the attach method and here we attach the string hello and if our handler class is our created set cl class called set cl hello world rest resource And last, we pass this LO router object to the RO root handler. Mm. 
Okay, then we click on Pretty Printer and we activate this code. Mm, now let's uh, create the service with the transaction SICF. And with this transaction, we can define new services. We click here on execute. And we click on default host and on the button create host service. We go on here and here we pick a service name. I write here test, it's a standalone service. And then we click on continue. And here we see the path, the service name, language, and here we can type in short description. Hello world test rest service. Then we click on the tab handler list. And in this handler list, we type in our set cl class set cl hello world rest. Then we click on the button save. And we go back. Now we open the default host and we see here our new created service. Right mouse click activate service. And next we want to test this. Again, right mouse click. And test service then we see the link and uh, we allow this so a browser window uh, is open with the link in it and we sign in with our username developer and password and here we see no resource found why because we must attach here our uh, string called hello and we press enter and now we see no response why because we have to implement the get method so let's open the se24 transaction again and we uh, change the set cell hello world rest resource class we double click on the redefined get method and here we uh, write a short code. We want to display the string hello world. So I write here um, mo response create entity. And here I call the method set string data. And here I pass the string hello bird. So pretty print and activate. Let's activate this method and let's activate our two set classes. So set cl hello world resource and the class hello world rest. So activate these two classes and now let's refresh the browser window. We see here the link and the string hello. And now we get in response our hello world. So let's test this rest API with the application postman. 
So we click here on the button new, then on HTTP and we copy the URL from our browser window, paste it here, see here get service then we click on authorization basic authorization here we pass username and password and then we can check the service with clicking on the button send and we see here status 200 okay and the response hello world so it's possible that when you want to test your service from outside, then that you get some problems with the CSRF token. If so, you click on headers and you write here in the key field X minus CSRF minus token. And in the field value, you type fetch. Then we click again on send and we see the service works. And if we click here on headers, on response headers, we see here an generated CSRF token. So this token is generated before you call the service. So it works. Yes, that was the simple service implementation, the simple REST API implementation in SAP to get some data from the SAP system. And if you like my video, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. I'm always happy to get a few likes. Also write something in the comments. I always like to read them and I also reply to them. Take care and see you in the next video.